as you saw, I put in one of the snap rings already on the inside here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the wrist pins out. I'm going to dip them in some oil to get them lubricated before I start assembling them to the rods. By the time everything's said and done, you're going to have four pistons with the dimples or your indicators up like that with the flat side facing forward. And on this set, it's going to be dimples towards you because you're going to be looking at the other end of the engine and flat side forward also. So if you were to mix them up, they'd be backwards. So you got to keep in mind which side of the pistons that you're doing. It's nice to have a tray like this because here all of the driver's side is in one spot. So I can do all these four the exact same way. And then I can come over to this tray and do all these four the exact same way. And I can load one side of the engine and the other side of the engine without any worries. This is definitely the way to do it. I'm not gonna bore you guys. I'm just gonna throw these all together real quick. Here comes the time lapse. First things first, what I do is I pull the wrist pin out and I slide this wrist pin into the oil. And then I take some assembly lube and I coat the inside journal or the pin bore as they call it. Okay, now that that's good. This is cylinder six, this is going to be the passenger side. I grab my wrist pin from the oil and I start it halfway. Oops. Let's see if you guys can see that. There you go. Okay, so it's halfway. And I grab my rod, flat side with the tappets up. So flat side to my right. Stick that in there. go. So now that that's in, I'll just work it around a little bit. And that is how I do a piston. Now for these with the snap rings, each piston requires four. So you do two and I double stack them, two on one side, two on the other side. And what I do is I offset the hole. So if I've got two snap rings, this one I put in like this. And this one, the opening, I turn it 180 and I put it in also. They don't say you have to do that, but it just makes me feel better because then you have a full circle of support as opposed to if you line them up or something like that, then it's just a gap, so. Now both sides have two snap rings on each side. I have no extra, if it's good. They're all done, they're all put together. As you can see, it's really starting to look like a piston again. All right, I was going to go through and do all the ring gapping and orientation using that dental pick like I said before. And I started on this one. I have all the rings and everything on there. However, the process actually takes quite a long time. There's a few key things I wanted to note while I was doing it. And that would push this video way over the edge. So instead, unfortunately, I'm going to have to leave it here um, in the half assembled stage. But one other thing that I learned, I called stat performance about my rods specifically because they do have this flat side and that chamfered side and the directions were not clear at all. What they mean, they want the chamfered edge to face opposite each other. 
So in the crank journal that it sits in, rides in, it wants to chamfer the edges facing the outside of the counterbalance weights of the opposite cylinder. So basically the chamfered edges facing out, the two flat sides touching together per each cylinder. So I did end up having to go through on the driver's side and four of them flip them around 180 and now we're all good. I know this is a short one. Give me a little bit more time to get that ring that broke in the previous video if you saw that due to the porosity. It'll give me time to get that in the mail. That way I can actually put in all the pistons instead of just half of them or six, seven of them and have one out. And that way we can start putting the rest of the bottom end together also. With all that being said, a lot of rambling, but with all that being said, we're gonna hold off until the next video to do all the rings, but that video, it's also all the pistons are going into the block and get it, getting bolted up to the crankshaft. I already have the main bearings. I went out and picked those up today. So a minor setback, but nothing too major. If you guys made it this far, please leave a like. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave, leave them down below. If you wanna see more of this content, please subscribe. We upload every Tuesday and Friday. Afton's got his Civic and his whole build going. A lot of fun things going on over there. And I upload every Friday. Until then, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.